latest edition of WLTV, West Lighting Television. I'm Yesenia Lanco. And I'm Jesus Delgado. And happy Cinnamon Raisin Bread Day. But come on, we need to be serious. This year, Lighting was pleased to welcome a brand new dean of students. The WLTV's Noelle Lauther caught up with Dean Rivera to learn more about her and how she is settling into her new position. Hello everyone, and I'm Noelle Lauther. I'm here with Mrs. Rivera, the new West Lighting Dean. So Ms. Rivera, can you please tell us about yourself and your new position? Sure. So this is my, like I said, my first year here at West Lighten. Uh, prior to that, I was in Morton East for four years also as Dean of Students. And before that, I was in the Chicago Public Schools as a school guidance counselor. So I've been in education now for about 12 years. I'm very excited to be here and be at West Lighten. Awesome. Now, what do you like best about Leiden so far? So far, I really enjoy meeting all the students and the staff. Everyone here has been so welcoming, so kind to me. It's been such a great experience, and I just really look forward to getting to know everybody more. And then what are you looking forward to most of the school year? I think the student events. So I'm really excited for homecoming, looking forward to seeing how that goes, kind of spirit week, and then the pep rally, and there's a football game to watch. So I'm really excited about that. And also prom and graduation, just kind of getting to see the students uh, throughout the year and all of their fun stuff. And then finally, where can students find you? Students can find me in the dean's office. I'm right next door to Mr. Mason, so if you know where that is, and if you had Mr. Manick last year, I'm, in, I'm just right there in the dean's office. Thank you, Mrs. Rivera, and back to the studio. Thanks, Noel. This week, a group of Latin physics students had the chance to travel downtown and experience the International Manufacturing and Technology Show to see how science works in the real world. WLTV's Beto Reyes tagged along on the trip and followed this report. Thank you, too. I'm Alberto Reyes here with Dr. Ruffalo inside of McCormick Place for the STEM convention. Now, Dr. Ruffalo, can you tell us more about the STEM convention? Uh, sure. Uh, there's several parts to the uh, IMTS uh, uh, convention at McCormick Place. There are a bunch of companies from the manufacturing industry, uh, industrial size companies that have displays here that are more uh, geared toward um, in in industry and people coming to try to find um, machinery for their shops. There's an educational piece which is outstanding for our students and then there's a competitive piece for our students as well where they can compete in some engineering projects. Now can you tell us how this is beneficial for the students inside the physics and metals classes? Well it, it's an awesome opportunity for kids to actually get a practical look at what's available to them in terms of careers and having um, a better idea of what is available to them when they leave. Many kids come to Leiden thinking they want to study something in science, maybe be an engineer, and this provides them with an opportunity to actually meet engineers, see some of the work they do, and en enjoy some of the incredible spectacular displays that they've been able to put together. Okay. And what do you wish kids in Leiden to get out of this? Well, I, I hope to open up my students' eyes a little bit in terms of what's available to them when they leave Leiden, um, whether they want to take an approach where they go into an apprenticeship and go right into the workforce, or whether they are looking to get a four-year or even postgraduate degree in engineering and uh, you know work on these huge and spectacular, awesome machines. Thank you. Back to the studio. Thanks, Beto. It's time to find your parents' old vinyl records and put on your dancing shoes. Next week, Latin students will be creating some golden memories as part of the homecoming 2017 festivities. WLTV's Esmeralda Torres sat down with student council representative Alexis Salgado and Jennifer Parker to learn more about the events for next week. Hi, it's Esmeralda Torres, and I'm here with Vice President Alexis Salgado and Secretary Jenny Parker from Student Council. Alexis, what is the theme for this year's homecoming? This year's homecoming theme is called Rock Around the Clock, and it's based off a 50s dance party. Okay, and Jenny, can you tell us more about the events going on next week? Uh, later next week, we have the faculty football game, which starts at 5 o'clock here at West, followed by our homecoming pep rally at 7. We also have our homecoming football game. Kickoff is at 7.30, and obviously our homecoming dance on Saturday night. Okay, and Alexis, can you inform us about the spirit days occurring next week? Um, next week, Monday, we have, uh, we're starting off with Pajama Day. Tuesday, we're going with Character Day. Wednesday is Blackout Day. Thursday is Decades Day. And Friday is a classic blue and gold. Okay, thank you. Back to the studio. 
Thanks, Esmeralda. Next week is Spirit Week, so don't forget to go out and show your light and pride. Also, good luck to all the Light and Eagles competing this weekend. Well, that's all we have for this week. And don't forget... I forgot. Go Eagles!